Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving deep into the captivating world of creative photography and exploring the fascinating differences between pictorialism, impressionism in photography and the intriguing technique known as ICM, or intentional camera movement. So grab your cameras and let's embark on this visual journey together. Our first stop on this photographic exploration is pictorialism. Pictorialism emerged in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, as photographers sought to elevate their craft to the status of fine art. The pictorialists embraced soft focus, elaborate printing techniques and manipulated compositions to create dreamlike and painterly images. Think of it as the bridge between photography and traditional art. As photographers aim to evoke emotions and tell stories through their pictures. Soft focus, a hallmark of pictorialism, blurred the lines between reality and imagination. This deliberate blurring invited viewers to experience the images on a deep, more emotional level transforming the photographs into visual poems. Crafting the perfect print was an art form in itself. Pictorialists explored elaborate printing techniques, experimenting with chemicals, papers and exposure times to create visually captivating results. Each print was a unique masterpiece, a testament to the artisanal approach that sought to elevate photography to the realm of traditional art. Pictorialists were not content with merely capturing reality. They sought to compose scenes that went beyond representation. Like painters with canvas, they manipulated compositions, arranging elements within the frame to convey personal interpretations and evoke a spectrum of emotions. As you look at the pictorialist images, notice the ethereal atmosphere, the subtle blurring, and the deliberate manipulation of light and shadow. Pictorialists believe in the artistic interpretation of reality and their works often carry a timeless poetic quality. Now let's fast forward to Impressionism in photography. Impressionism in photography, much like in painting, it's about capturing the essence of a moment rather than a detailed representation. It's about distilling the mood, the play of light, and those ephemeral moments that might go unnoticed in our fast-paced lives. It's all about being in the moment and allowing the scene to unfold naturally. I often find inspiration in everyday life. A play of light on a street corner. The reflection of colors in a puddle after rain. I strive to create images that convey a sense of atmosphere and emotion, rather than a precise depiction. Light is the brush stroke of Impressionist photography, and the color is the palette. In Impressionist photography, the interplay of light and color becomes a language to convey emotions. I always experiment with natural light and use it to enhance the mood of a scene, choosing colors to evoke the desired atmosphere. Spontaneity is key in capturing the essence of a moment. It allows me to embrace the unpredictability of life and find beauty in the ordinary. The candid feel adds authenticity to the images, making them relatable and connecting viewers with the emotions captured in that moment. As you look at examples of Impressionist photography, notice the use of light and color to convey emotion and atmosphere. These images often have a spontaneous, almost candid feel capturing the beauty in the ordinary and the transient nature of time. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of intentional camera movement or ICM. 
a modern and intentional technique that challenges traditional notions of sharpness and clarity. Instead, it embraces the allure of abstraction and dynamism, resulting in captivating and visually striking images. Take a look at these examples of ICM. Notice how the intentional movement introduces a sense of energy and abstraction into the images. It's a departure from the conventional pursuit of sharpness, encouraging photographers to break free from traditional constraints and explore a new visual language within the realm of photography. The deliberate movement of the camera during exposure is the hallmark of ICM. Can you imagine using this technique to paint with light and create unique visual narratives? I am passionate about ICM because it allows me to go beyond the constraints of traditional photography. The intentional blur becomes a tool for expression, adding a layer of mystery and emotion to the images. It's like painting with light in a way that transcends a literal representation of a scene. When I engage in intentional camera movement, I am not just capturing a moment, but actively participating in its creation. I experiment with different movements, speeds and angles to achieve the desired level of abstraction. It's a dynamic process that often involves a degree of unpredictability, and that's what makes each image so unique. The intentional blur introduces a sense of movement and fluidity, allowing viewers to engage with the image more emotionally. It transforms static scenes into dynamic visual stories, inviting the audience to interpret and connect with the photograph in a way that goes beyond the literal. So, how do these three styles differ? Pictorialism, with its soft focus and elaborate printing techniques, seeks to elevate photography to a realm of fine art, creating images that resemble paintings and evoke emotions. Impressionism in photography is like impressionist paintings. It tries to catch the feeling of a moment, paying attention to the mood, light and quick moments with a natural and unplanned style. ICM, on the other hand, deliberately introduces blur through intentional camera movement, resulting in abstract and dynamic images that challenge the traditional pursuit of sharpness. Despite their unique approaches, these styles share a common goal – the pursuit of creative expression. Whether it's through dreamlike compositions, spontaneous capture of fleeting moments, or intentional blur for dynamic effects, each style offers you a means to break free from conventions and convey a personal narrative. Their commonality lies in their ability to transcend the literal representation of a scene, allowing you to explore diverse avenues of storytelling and artistic interpretation. In essence, pictorialism, impressionism and ICM represent three distinct chapters in the ever-evolving language of photography, where creativity knows no bounds. It is worth noting that the intentional camera movement can be employed as a creative technique to produce impressionist style photographs. However, it's crucial to recognize the distinction between impressionist and abstract art when applying ICM to photography. As I said before, in the context of impressionist photography, the intention is not to distort reality to the extent that nothing remains recognizable. Unlike abstract art, which often involves a complete departure from representational forms, impressionist photography still maintains a connection to the real world. The goal is to capture a scene's essence through intentional blurring and movement, infusing the image with a sense of dynamism and emotion. 
As we conclude our journey through the differences between pictorialism, impressionism in photography and ICM, I encourage you to experiment with these styles. Embrace the artistic possibilities within photography and let your creativity soar. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep capturing the beauty around you through the lens of your imagination. Happy shooting!